Here we are. Welcome back to the Scope Podcast. Scope times two five seven collective. What's up, baby? Rocking that shit. How you going, boys? How are we? Scope, like, sorry, sorry. Just double check it's recording. <laughs> sorry, boys. It's, yeah, it is recording. It's recording. Okay. Start again. Sorry. No, no. Let's hey. keep going. We like that. This is a podcast. We'll keep flowing. It's all good. Hey, boys. Um, one thing that I really wanted to start to start with. Hey, Mitchy Barnett. What's doing, brother? We're gonna do one soon or what? Uh, yeah, get me on soon. Yeah, bro, Please. let's do one. Let's do one next couple of weeks. I'll give you, me- I'll give you a message. Cheers, I'm, grateful. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. That's that's a grateful on the house too, by the way, boys. But I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. kick it off. I'm gonna kick it off. Um, I'm grateful for what you boys have instilled in me in 2021. Right. So my whole my whole yeah. mindset and mood has changed this year because being grateful and adopting that from. From our first dinner on January 1st, 2021. And uh, I just want to thank you boys and um, just say that I'm grateful that you brought that into my lives. Have you got a, a grateful you'd like to share with us? One thing that about um, grateful is when you're in someone else's, it just it just makes you feel like so much better special. about it. Yeah, it feels special. special, man. It's fucking nice. It, it doesn't happen. But like when, it, <laughs> when I'm in someone else, I feel really, really good. So. K- KP is usually in the ungrateful spot. Yeah. Oh, is he? Oh, well, we got we got we got to flip the script in 2020. Um, uh, boys, have you have you got a grateful for us today? Uh, I'll start. I got two, bro. I um, my first one is I'm grateful for moisturizer, man. I've moisturizer. been getting hammered by the. So the only <laughs> thing keeping my face together at the moment is some um, it's the moisturizer, and um, the other is I'm grateful that you took on our gratefuls and then you're you're sharing sharing the word with. The, uh, it's like a gospel, isn't there. it? Yeah, it's like a gospel. Like to be fair, to be fair, I've carried on probably way too. Like Normie thinks I'm going way too hard on it. <laughs> like he wants me to pull up, <laughs> but I'm going, bro. Like it's changed my perspective on life at the moment, and I'm just I'm feeling good. The energy's good. So what do you got for us, KP? I um I have noticed that you've been pumping it quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much, even for your liking. You can't no. Mate, you, the more grateful, the better. You can't be over you can, grateful. Yeah, you can't yeah, be you too can't. grateful. Really. It, but you ha- take that sip of coffee, oh, grateful. <sighs> yeah, grateful. Aren't you? Jeez, that's a nice, exactly. that's yeah. a nice um, drop. Probably a simple one, friends and family and, and their health, just having my mates around, always. Always grateful for them. That's um, done, bro. And the opportunities and challenges that like <laughs> this job uh, presents yep. on a daily basis, but more so the opportunities. Like we're obviously here in camp at the moment and it's tough, but it's, it's fun and makes us better. So I'm really grateful for those. See, um, see, this is why I use the OGs. I only ask one grateful, but you've given me about three or four just there. Connor had a couple. Honestly, we're grateful in the coffee. It's just a good vibe. On that note, let's hit the, let's hit the intro, please, Lucky. Tell me what you need and need. Let's go. Tell me what you want and want. Let's go. Tell me what you call and call. Let's go. This is where I do my best work, baby. Shit. Hey! You like the intro, boys? Where's the Jack Harlow at, man? I know, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what? My, my dance moves are looking a little better there. Since that, ever since that TikTok, bro, I've been, I've been requested. I've been requested so many times to get back into TikTok. <laughs> Bushdorf's going. Oh, Bushdorf. Hey, and what a segue. Let's roll straight into that, boys. Uh, spent New Year's with you, boys. Talked about it on 10 in the can. I had, a, I had a wonderful time. I had a really good night. Like I said, I was grateful. That was my grateful when I first got back. Um, run me through your sort of your break, boys, your little Chrissy break, uh, family time, considering you spent so much time away from family throughout the year and, and that festive season. Did you have a good break and you feel rejuvenated and ready to go? Really, really good break. Uh, I got back to Avoca for sort of Chrissy, Chrissy Eve and, um, yeah, and then – we went up to Byron for uh, the New Year's period, which was which was great. Like that New Year's Eve was honestly the best New Year's I've had hands down. I, I just so good. and it was all on <laughs> too, right? Like everything just flowed one thing into another, and um, yeah, just really really glad we got to experience that together. Far out it was fun, man. KP, yeah, I just I just hey, it was just unbelievable. That yeah, the bush stuff. I've never been to a bush stuff before. I've heard good things and to finally experience it with with a great crew. Like we just had the best, best crew with us, and that was good. I spent I spent Christmas with my family, which was nice. Always do though, um, and then yeah, to have those days in Byron before getting stuck in again um, was well needed. But that'll probably carry me up until the trials or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> carry me for a few weeks. 
I'm, I'm, oh yeah, I was pretty content when I got back. I was a bit dusty first couple of days. Cobwebs were there, but yeah, yeah no, it's, um, it was good to have that. Yeah, you boys uh, went straight from – we left – what was it Saturday morning and then you boys had to go straight back into training. So – and I think just, just before we uh, remove from the bush doof too because I love talking about it, I think the best thing about that bush doof is that we randomly found it too. Like I keep telling the boys, I think if I had planned to have that bush doof, it, like it still would have been good. But the fact that we're walking to the but, beach and then we end up just like jagging it by accident. Yeah, it was just like – we went to go for a swim to bring in the new year, which is like a little tradition that we have in Avoca where we all jump off the rocks and swim and in. New Year's kiss. Yeah, and a yeah, New Year's done. kiss. And then just like started hearing the music, eh? <laughs> like, follow yeah. the music, follow the music. And then all of a sudden, we'll just bang. There it was. There was um, one of the greats. Yeah, just the, the 15 minutes before New Year's Eve, like the, before the fireworks and even like, at the bush there were fireworks yeah. about two meters behind. Yeah, I know it was going know, off. That was sick, eh? Out of the tree. Yeah, that was mad hype for no reason, eh? Yeah, this, like everyone stopped. Bush doops, bush doops stopped to watch this guy in the tree, think he was going to do a backflip or something. Yeah, he ended up just jumping. He jumped a half a meter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. Uh, and he came, uh, and, he, and he ran, bro. I forgot to tell you, too. Like he ran out, like high five, and everyone like he killed it. And I went, yeah, right, bro. I'm giving him a fucking high five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. And then you boys went straight into training, eh? How was that? How was that? Because what is that a six hour drive, and then straight into a bit of rehab? And then I also want to touch on, give us a bit I of. Had in- to run on the back. Um, that it was all right because it was raining, so it wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, and that, that always sense, helps but- out. One day was so hot, bro, and then um, the heavy, the heavy cramps, heavy cramps were on Monday doing? Arvo, nice. and I, yeah. um, I got the, I got a late text that day saying that I didn't have to come into training. Was I grateful? Yes, oh, yes, I was. Fuck, that's another yes, good I, grateful. Oh, and I, and I'll list it too because, it, like, when I got back and I was like rattled, and I got that text, yeah. holy hell. Yeah, helped, definitely helps. So uh, I was just about to say as well, a little update. Both of you boys were carrying injuries into the off season. Where he's at now and how they all going? Oh, uh, you go. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm pretty much back in full training. Like, uh, sort of did my first full session yesterday. Uh, been doing contact for like a month, so it's just been the conditioning games, which I haven't been out of just because they're so fast. Um, but yeah, I did my first conditioning games yesterday, which was. So good just to get the ball back in hand. But, yeah, I feel sweet, to be on a scope. Like, my, um, I don't really notice my Achilles once I'm sort of out there running. It, it gets a little bit sore doing back-to-back days. But um, this week's been all good. So, how much Kalen's, better? How, Kalen's still. Yeah, how much better is it when you just start playing games in that, that way? Like, you start throwing the footy around. Whereas if you run, and I feel like if you're running for a couple of Ks, sorry, KP, I'll get back to you, brother. Um, when, yeah, when you start sure. playing those games, it's fucking you, – you don't think about it and you just you enjoy having the footy again. I um, try riding a bike and watching them play the games. <laughs> oh, I that's, see. Uh, yeah. that's an ungrateful. Fighting the bike. <laughs> You're not grateful for that. <laughs> I'm not grateful. I ran yesterday, actually, which I'm very <clears throat> grateful for. But, um, yeah, no, it, once you it, – it's sort of the before moment that gets you. Like, I'm going, oh, I have to get on this bike. But then once you're on it, you just go crazy anyway. Like, you're not – Just get after it. I'm not on it. Yeah, you just get after mm-hmm. it once you're on there, once you're doing the work. So, I'm um, – uh, I'm back running now, which is a, a step in the right direction. And then I'm not too sure on skills, but I'm pushing to just hurry up and just get it done, get it going. Are but, you, are you know, both hopeful like, and think you'll be ready for round one? I'll be, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely be. I'll be playing the last trial, I think, so Go I'll on. definitely be able to play it. I'll be a few weeks off round one, I reckon, yeah, just nice. the way I'm progressing at the moment. All right. Well, um, with all that considered, hopefully getting back out there, as quickly as possible. Do you boys have any goals uh, on for the season for yourselves? Maybe just a goal for footy and then also a goal for the 257 Collective and where you see that going this year. Mm. Ooh. Is that a bit heavy? Was that, <laughs> was that too much? Uh, it wasn't heavy. <laughs> There's just a lot, of pot- a lot of potential in that question. Yeah, you know? yeah, okay. Um, I think like footy-wise, pretty obvious one, you know, I'd love to win a compi. I'd love to... Win a comp in Newcastle, a team I've always supported. So, um, and I feel like we've definitely got the roster to contend for one for this sure. year. Just stay, need to stay, stay fit, keep our boys fit. Um, and then for two five seven, I think just keep um, keep.
keep growing, expanding, and just having fun with it. You know, like we we, we, we need of, to be better though. I think twenty twenty one. Um, like we, we look at it as sort of maybe the year of the collab, like just keep trying to do collabs with brands that we like. Um, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe even club. a, you know, could be, could be, is ice in the background there? No, no, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. He's not. <laughs> there's, there's things that we want to sort of just, um, yeah, brands that we'd like to collab with and do stuff with, but we need to sort of be pushing a bit more on our end. So. Yeah, probably just consistency. Is that what you mean by we, be better, KP? You know, you want to be like yeah, this more yeah. consistent content? what we're doing but to do that we need to plan out and and have a schedule and stuff like that you know like we're just we're easy going but but that can sort of hinder us in the way as well so yeah um that's definitely what's a, few- appealing about you guys for sure like how laid back you are so yeah yeah, yeah that, that is appealing but it's also <laughs> it doesn't get done sometimes so we need to like you know, have a few things in like we've got things in mind that we want to do and we go like one day we'll wake up and go Fuck, actually let's just do it and then the next day we'll be like, oh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it next week. <laughs> the thing, you know the thing we like, yeah, yeah. but like when we start doing it, it's like it feels it mad. just all flows for like it'll be like a month, bro, and we'll just be doing so much for a month. Yeah, and then we'll just the pedal for a bit, yeah. and then we're just like, oh, shit, we haven't done the podcast in like two months. Like, what have we been doing? Or yeah, we haven't done a uh, YouTube video, but we've got some people like just some of our mates who are going to help sort of push us to make some more content. So my brother's come on board and like we've got Matty Croaks, you know. Uh, yeah, gun. The big, I love Croaks. He goes. Uh, quadruple, so o, us, quad, like, quadruple OG mutters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Triple OG. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, you, and your um, brother, the happiest guy on the earth. You know what? If anyone had a better time than me at the Bush Door for Doom, it was your brother. <laughs> <laughs> he was a happy kid. He's always a happy kid. I don't so. think anyone was unhappy at the nah. bush oh, like, no, I, I no. didn't see. No, it's impossible to have a bad time there. No, it was. It was. It was the highlight of twenty twenty one. Yeah, Easy. and uh, yeah, fucking, and, and it's only the first day. <laughs> and it was the first three hours of twenty twenty one, but it was the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with you, boys. It's something that you know. When I got back with Ice, I talked about being more consistent, come up with content, always thinking and planning ahead. So moving on to that, we've got we've, we've got some very big plans this year for myself personally and then YKTR Sports. Me, um, and I'm only going to announce people when I've got them on the podcast, but we're going to be doing yeah. a YKTR Sports golf day at the end of the year. Can I count yeah. on you guys to make the YKTR Sports golf day? 100%. Yeah, we'll be there. Oh, no. 100%. Hey, all. Hi, I'm playing with golf. PlayStation. Oh, easy win. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, you know Mudders let me down that night too. You know Mudders let me down. On, on, on a team, but that'll be fun. Yeah, gun. So, like I said, having a bit of fun with it at the end of the year, it's going to be a good opportunity. We're going to um, look at – I've got Tash in here from YKT at the, YKTR at the moment. She does all the – helps us out with all that stuff. So we're going to plan it for the end of the year, but it'll be good to have you boys on. KP, I think we talked about it on the um, footy companion. You know, you played when you were younger. How's where's your yeah. game at now? Are you, are you what's your handicap at at the moment? Uh, I'd be pretty poor at the moment because of my shoulder. I haven't played in a few months. I was getting back into it when we were in the bubble or like when we could go do that sort of stuff. Um, yep. I don't know. It'd be off probably thirteen, maybe thirteen, fourteen. See, that's great. Wouldn't be too good. So then, I guess when people were purchasing to play with certain players because there'll be prize money and everything for it. Um, Connor, what are you playing off? Like, do the punters want to select you, brother? Obviously, looks at, you're going to be like you're playing with a ten, so that's a benefit. I think plus two. I think Skate. Uh, Ooh. Wait, I was here. Ooh. Get him at a shirt. Do get, does, does he get a shirt off? Shirts off. Yeah, <laughs> compulsory shirt. You either got to buy a YKTR shirt for the day or shirts off. <laughs> One of the two. Those are the only two options. You can't bring your own fucking shirt. Choose what they're uh, what they're playing with. Obviously, you'll probably have your shirt on. Connor will probably have his shirt off. <laughs> I knew you were setting me up there, cunt. I knew there must have been something coming. You're always trying to get at the tie. You f- see, I don't know why have you guys on. He's not even. Good, you're not even good mates of mine. That tire chat was funny there. Yeah, that I'm was. Gonna bring that. Back. That was a dude. Uh, All right, well, guys. I know you, you're at camp at the moment. Um, you stopped in to give us ten or fifteen of your best. I just want to finish off on one little giggle question that we finish off with now. The question is: If you could uh, have one player in your team, no. Not date your sister, who would it be and why? So you've got your own 
I'll go to I'll go to uh, KP for. Oh no, go Connor. You look like you're ready to go. Kalen, bro. Not Kalen. You wouldn't let Kalen do. You. Why? Why wouldn't you let Kalen? He's your boy. And and you got to remember that KP's up next too. <laughs> nah. Um. Oh, it's hard to say, bro, because a lot of the boys here are all in. Um, I'm not ready to settle down. Are all yet, in, are all in that's, role. Yeah, but that, that's a thing, KP. We got to think about. It's like <laughs> if. So I feel like. Yeah, go. Sorry, boys. We just lost the connection there for a bit. You're back. Yeah, but they also. Like, I'm, like pretty, um, I'm not ready to settle down. That's why you'd say that. You yeah, know? you know, that's what I mean. So yeah, come okay. back to me in two or three years, then you'd be like, oh, Alan, for sure, he can date, you know? Yeah, for but sure. Just, I think that's why, like, I'm why his answer for it. But I'm just saying. <laughs> You're answering it for him. Why. All right, KP, yeah. what do you got? Who, who wouldn't let you, who wouldn't you let date your sister and why? Oh yeah, <laughs> Randy. Uh, Chris Randall <laughs> just, uh, is in the team. Oh, I don't actually have to justify why. I think <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> That's it. That's nah, sweet. No, I like that. You don't have to justify anything. He's a good nah, boy. But you know what? Randy's getting old now. He's almost at that age where he's he, ready to settle down. Yeah, oh, he's twenty-eight now. So hey, be- yo, Scope's fucking thirty-four. Come on, baby. <laughs> don't, go, don't be saying old and fucking twenty-eight. Yeah. Kitties, that's no, kitties. Huh? You okay? No. <laughs> nah, Randy's down too, so maybe he might be all right. Yeah, actually, if anyone's uh, keen on Chris Randall out there, just hit him up. Well, yeah. well, well then this this could be your answer coming up next, Connor, because the next one is who would you let date your sister and why out of the group? Can we just give the boys like a little a little shout out. So Chris Randall, twenty eight. <laughs> yep, good bloke. Gonna settle down. Pretty good sort too. His at is Chris Randall, I think. Is it just straight Chris uh, Randall on Instagram? Matt. Beautiful. Yeah, it's Chris Randall on Instagram. Who else we got? Uh, yeah, Matt Croker. Yeah, Matt Craig. Croker. 20, 20, 21, 22. Oi, sexy um, texty like, reckons he does he does some of his best work on the down line in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. He's, a sh- he's a shadow. Mm. Really yeah. closed shadow door things. kind of guy, yeah, but like really that. open and, and kind heart to him. So yeah. if you're looking for that, he's so, there. So would Croaks be someone that you'd let date your sister then? Is that the answer to your yeah. – Yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Connor? I, I always oh, say Oh, no, no, not Connor. He's, no, no. <coughs> he's not looking to settle down, is he? Nah. Not yet. You've got plenty of time, boys. I'm, I'm having the time of my life, boys. Stay with me. Hang with me. Don't leave me. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. <laughs> well, on the way home from um, our Byron off-season trip, I'm sitting there in the car with Johnsy. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's just after hanging out with Normie and Scope, I'm like, bruh, if I don't get a missus soon, I might be like Normie or Scope. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. Oi, Normie, Normie, I swear he looks at me sometimes and he's just judging me, bro. Like, we'll be sitting outside. Because I said to him one time, you, you know this story already, I go, Mudders, I could do this for the rest of my life. And he goes, reckon? Like, fuck, he's, like, judging me all the time, bro. He's staring at me going, I was like, hey, boys, it's not all that bad. It's not all that bad. I'm having a good time. Yeah, he's just, oh. Yeah, I got you. Um, who we would? Who we would? Who we would? Tex. Texy? Yeah, yeah. Texy's rock solid, Tex. eh? Good man. Good kid. Good kid. Um, you look, Probably Jaden Bra- 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 Bailey. Jaden Bailey? Like- yeah. Like- Follow Bailey. Yeah, Bailey Hodgson. He's just like he's only eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, fresh. Doesn't doesn't know anything. He hasn't been <laughs> corrupted innocent. yet. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't grown. So he'd be pretty good. He'd, he'd look after her. Um, but no one, no one, no one's dating your sister, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, go. you actually have a sister. Actually, yeah, yeah well, she's only young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny when like people actually got sisters because a lot of the, a lot of the time like none of us boys have got sisters, so you could be a little bit more loose with it. But then you yeah. think about like, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. You don't know what about? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's a good way to finish anyway, boys. I appreciate you com- coming on. Good luck for your seasons. Good luck with your injuries. And uh, I'll speak to you soon, boys. Love yous. Thanks, Cheers, brother. Mate. Thanks for having us. Grateful See you, boys. Mate. Grateful for you, boys.